Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk to you about this thing I have here. It is a gas regulator. This is one I got at a surplus sale. I tried to sell it on eBay and no one wanted to buy it. So I thought I'd take it apart, see how it works. It looks really expensive just from the heft it's got. What this does is you connect this side to an oxygen tank and this side goes to some kind of medical experiment or something you need just a small trickle of oxygen for. So the oxygen coming in it might be at you know 4,000, 3,000 psi which is a lot of pressure and the output is somewhere less than 60 psi. I can tell by these two gauges. This one goes up to 4,000 psi. That's the inlet gas pressure. The outlet gas pressure gauge only goes up to 60 psi. So the way that you adjust the outlet pressure is you turn this knob. So by tightening it you can increase that pressure. And then there's also a valve on the output that you can adjust the flow rate. So if you had this connected to maybe you had oxygen bubbling up through some kind of um, aquarium or something like that. I don't know what you'd use this for, but you can adjust the flow rate with this. And I've already taken this apart. It was kind of hard to get apart. I didn't know the right way to do it. And I kind of bent it up a little bit, so it's kind of unfortunate. It's probably not really good anymore, but um, everything was really tight the way it was put together. And it, as I was taking it apart, I realized this is actually it's called a two-stage regulator. So you've almost got one regu the first regulator stage actually is here on the back, then the second regulator stage is here on the front. All right, so the way that this regulator works is that we have an air holding chamber. That's kind of what I think of it as right here. And what the regulator tries to do is keep the pressure in there equal to some constant you set. Another way to think of that is it tries to keep the number of gas molecules in this chamber pretty constant because the pressure is proportional to the number of, of molecules in there. If you, if you double the molecules in here, you double the pressure. And so the way that that is accomplished is there is a spring which is trying to push this valve closed. So this spring on its own would push this this valve closing up this hole and preventing any more gas from flowing through here. But there is a stronger spring which is pushing on this diaphragm here that's trying to keep the valve open. So without any pressure in here with with only with no gas molecules or only a few molecules, this valve is open. And the gas molecules start flowing in from the high pressure, flowing through into this region until the force on this diaphragm increases enough that it helps this little spring overcome the force of this big spring. The diaphragm begins to move this way, which means that the valve gets smaller and smaller until eventually it would close. Now the, the speed of these molecules is only dependent on the temperature. With a gas, the speed really doesn't depend on the pressure, but the pressure depends on the speed of the molecules, the temperature, and the number of them. So in essence, this regulator is just trying to keep the number of gas molecules in this holding cell relatively constant. I mean, there's like billions of them, so it's not going to be exact, but it's pretty close. And this is a two-stage regulator. So the first stage is going to go from, you know, 4,000 PSI down to some intermediate value, maybe, I don't know, 500 or something. And then there was another opening that fed 
into a second regulator. Pretty much the exact same design as the first. So you've got another spring pushing on a valve that's trying to close up a opening, but then you've got a diaphragm and another spring, and then a screw that you can set with this hand thing that, that changes the pressure on this spring. And so this might be at 20 PSI. So the advantage of the two regulators is that um, if you start flowing molecules out of this regulator, the pressure doesn't change as much for a given flow rate as it would with a single stage because you're not going from 4,000 to 20, you're going from 500 to 20. These gauges just screw off and I'm probably going to save these, these gauges for something. Um, here's where the, the gas goes into the regulator. You can see there's just a little hole drilled. And then here is where the gas comes out of the regulator. You can see that's a bigger hole, but still just a hole in there. If I unscrew this front part, this is where the action really happens in a regulator. So what you see is a big spring and a rubber diaphragm. So what happens is when you turn this knob on the front, you adjust the pressure that's pushing on this spring. And the outlet gas, it pushes on the back side of this diaphragm. So it tries to push this diaphragm out and the spring pushes it back in. And at some point, those two forces are equal, and that sets the output regulator pressure. Um, inside of here is actually a valve that lets air into this chamber. And so when the air in here is at too low of a pressure, lower than the set point, this valve is pushed in, which means it's open, and it lets gas molecules come into here. At some point, they build up enough pressure, they push out the diaphragm, and this valve closes. So, I'm going to take this valve out. See, there's just a spring in this little cavity that pushes up on this valve and all this valve is is just a little piece of metal with a, a rubber gasket in it that closes off this hole so when this normally the spring is pushing this closed but when the this big spring pushes on this diaphragm when there's not enough pressure on the inside it pushes this open pushes on this little metal pin which opens this and lets gas flow through into the chamber which continues until there's enough pressure to equalize the force of that spring at which point this closes because of this spring pushing on it and I knew that's kind of how regulators worked. What I didn't realize is this, as I said, is actually a two-stage regulator. So I kept prying and prying, and finally I got this back part to unscrew. And it's almost the same as this front part. This is actually the first stage of the regulator. So if you take this apart, it's very similar. There's a spring and a diaphragm 
and it actually has a set screw to set the pressure instead of a knob. So I guess it's kind of hard set. You're not really going to be changing this primary regulator pressure. So the set screw changes the, the uh, force that this spring has on this metal diaphragm. Because it's the first stage, it's a higher pressure. And there's another valve in here that works the same way as the valve in this secondary stage that I've showed you at first. So we can actually unscrew this valve and see it is pretty similar to the other valve. It's just got um, a little bit different design. There's a rubber gasket in there and then the spring pushes this plastic piece up into that, that rubber gasket. So kind of laying it all out. These are the components of the first regulator stage. And then these are the components of the The second so laying it all out you can see the gas enters this first chamber on this side of this first stage diaphragm it keeps coming to this chamber until the force compresses this spring enough to let the valve close. So that sets the pressure in here lower than the inlet pressure. The pressure in here is then fed through this hole right here and it comes out into the inside of this secondary valve where the same thing happens. This valve lets the air into this cavity until the force on this big diaphragm is enough to, to push in this spring and let the valve close. And this spring is adjusted by this knob here on the end. There's also a, another hole which leads into this secondary chamber right here, which I think is probably a pressure relief valve. Um, it looks like I can see a spring in here, so probably if the, the pressure in this secondary air chamber gets too high, it is released out of the safety valve. So that's it. That's uh, how this regulator works.